In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to add images to our Phaser 3 games. In the first step, we'll preload the image files into our game's memory, and then in the second step, we'll take the images we loaded and display them in the game scene. Without further ado, let's dive on into some coding. Okay, so we're going to follow along with adding images to our Phaser 3 game. First thing I'm going to do is copy our game's boilerplate and just call this add images. And now our ad our boilerplate already actually has some images added for us. So for now, I'm just going to take those out so we can follow along with the tutorial. Just take a second. All right. In fact, I don't think we need the update function at all. So we've got our game boilerplate. So let's head on over into it. it we called it add images. So we'll CD into add images. We'll run npm install to install all of our dependencies. Give that a second to run. And then we'll run npm run start. Now, if we navigate over to localhost port 8080, we get a blank canvas. Open up the console so we can see any errors or logs. And first step in adding your image, like we discussed, is to preload it. So in the in the uh, Phaser 3 boilerplate, I'm using the boot scene to preload all assets. So we'll say this.load.image, and we'll say cat like, and we'll say assets slash, let's take a look, cat like creature, like creature png and that's it for our preloader so it preloads the image and when that's done it'll start the game scene so the image is assigned to a key like this that's what cat like stands for in this case so in our game scene which is where we get directed when the create function of the boot scene loads the game scene also has a create function. However, instead of loading a different scene in this one, what we're going to do is say this.add.image. We'll pass in first an X and a Y, so let's say 100 by 100, and a texture string. The texture string corresponds to the key that we gave our image in the preload scene. So that would be cat like. <clears throat> Let's save it and take a look at what happens. And look at that. We have a cat-like creature on our game canvas. If you take a look at inspect this, you will see that it is just a canvas element. There is no image tag hidden anywhere in there. So the image is being rendered onto the canvas. And that's about it for this tutorial. If you want to check out the written version, there will be a link in the description. And if you want the Phaser 3 boilerplate that I was using in this tutorial, um, feel free to head over to my website, playerone.co. You'll be able to sign up for our newsletter, and that will give you a download link for the boilerplate, if that interests you. Anyways, thanks everybody. Have a good day.